Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today I want to make sure you guys don't have bank sitting in your storages in New World. There's a lot of great things that are selling for insane prices when it comes to craft mods specifically. So if we take a look at the storage right now, we take a look at the Everfall side of things, that's going to be where I hold all of my different craft mods. So if we scroll down, you can see I have about 200 pounds in craft mods. It's just a bunch of random stuff. None of it's actually going to be that useful or valuable, unfortunately. I've looked through most of it, sold the stuff that is, and now it's down to pretty much the bare minimum stuff where it's just going to be sitting there for quite a while until I decide to dump it. So you can see a lot of you guys been running chest runs or doing these dungeons and expeditions or whatever you're doing may be netting you quite a bit of money that you didn't even know about. So that's what I want to make sure you guys know is there's craft mods that are selling upwards of 25k. I want to make sure you guys are not losing out. So let's go over to this market real quick and talk about which ones you guys should be looking for in your storages with me. So pull up your storage right now. Pause the video if you guys haven't already, by the way, because this is going to be huge for you. If you have some of these, you're going to make a ton of money very, very quickly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, let's go into actually, I, I, we don't even have to go to perks really. Let's go to the website. This website's going to show us everything we need to know. So you can see this website. You can see the shirking fortification comes from squirming vines, right? Squirming vines is one of the best when it comes to money making here in new world you can see here on Valhalla it's selling for 15.4k that's a ton of coins if we take a look at marama or yeah marama marama whatever you guys want to call it, it's 18 to 19k uh, as the you know current lowest sell price we have bari at 25k Valhalla was 15k so crazy 15 to 25k for squirming vines what this one does is basically gives you shirking fortification and this is a huge best in slot perk for most people so a lot of people are going to be rolling this on all of their pieces of gear right now and that's exactly why squirming vines now that you can pick two perks is going to be so so expensive so the smart people if you didn't know we talked about this bought tons of these up before golden scarabs came out and now are selling them for massive profits but it doesn't mean people are not going to buy these for 15 to 25k as you can see the buy price on Valhalla is 11k. If we go to Marama, it's 11k again. Bari is 15k as the buy price. Absolutely insane to see these things selling for this much. And you may be asking, how can I farm these? Well, we'll go and cover that right after we get through all of the different craft mods that you should be looking for. So next up in line, we have Shard of Concentrated Iron. This is the freedom perk. Slow stun and roots expire 10% faster. This is a nether uncommon supposedly resource that's selling for 9k or even 18k as the sell price 9k as the buy price if we go to marama it's selling for 25k the buy price at 12k the el dorado server is going to be selling for about 13k buy price for 8.1k and last but not least valhalla 19k sell price 8k buy price these are all more expensive than golden scarabs currently are just keep that in mind i actually want to make sure you guys know this let's look up golden scarabs real quick because I want to, I want you guys to understand the value in some of these perks right now. So here we can see it's about 5k on Valhalla on the buy price. We have Bari at about 4.5k. They're all about 4.5k so far it looks like. And yeah, so most of them about 4.5 to 5k golden scarabs. These crap mods are much much higher in value. So definitely be looking through your storages for these specific ones. As we continue forward, the next one that most recently came out, Star Metal Great Sword Charms. These things are selling for crazy amounts as well. As you can see, Relentless Freedom is a huge perk that everybody loves to take because of obvious reasons. It activating that Relentless Rush removes roots and slows. It also increases Relentless Rush's critical hit chance by 12%. So a massive, massive perk to have on anybody's Relentless Rush Great Sword build. You can see here on Bari, it's about 14K sell price. I'm not going to go through all of them every time, but I'll go through a couple real quickly and just kind of find the highest price or the lowest price. Looks like you could get it about 5K on Valhalla, but when it comes to Bari, it's about 14K, so 5 to 14K there. If we look at some of the other great sword charms, this one's not going to be near as much because not many people are looking for that leeching crosscut near as hard as they are looking for Relentless Rush. 
but it's about 360 gold here yet again. If we take a look a little bit farther down, though, Skyward Nullification is selling for about 10k on across a multiple servers. You can see 5k there, 10k there again, 10k, and then a 7k. So a rav, probably an average of about 7.5k for the Skyward Null, or sorry, Skyward Nullification. If you guys are looking this up in your storage, by the way, search by this term there, or Calcum Greatsword Charm. That's going to be how you're going to find these. Next in line, we do have another Greatsword perk. It's not going to be selling for much. It's the Energizing Counter. Uh, not many people are going to be looking for this specific charm. And then we look for the next one. It's the Slowing Rupture. It's selling for a decent amount. It's not going to be the one that makes you, you know, rich, but it is selling for about 500 to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 gold, depending on the server here, actually. And Marama, holy cow. And Marama, it's a whole different ball game. They're selling for 8K. And uh, if we look at Valhalla, it's selling for 1.5. But if we go to like El Dorado, 400 gold. And the Bari is actually at 3.2K, so that's pretty good. So overall, this is actually a really good one to look for yet again. Reinforced Star Metal Great Sword Charm. As we go to the final Great Sword Charm, it's going to be Steadfast Purification. This one's not going to have much value at all. A lot of people don't even run Steadfast. So Steadfast Purification is going to be kind of irrelevant in this situation. Or, you know, realistically, if you are looking to hunt some of these charms, we'll talk about, like I said, where those come from in just a second. But I want to make sure I grabbed all of the specific ones we should be looking for. You know, resilient, you would think, is going to be a high value, uh, high value perk to look for. It's really not because you have to remember with resilient, you can actually just buy that from the faction shop. So it's very easy to farm. And people are typically not rolling resilient unless they're going for just a two perk because your resilient is going to be a very high percent chance to roll compared to some of these other perks. So it may be the last perk that they roll if they're going for a three perk legendary best in slot. Okay, so now we talked about some of them, Shirking Fort, Freedom, and Great Swords. What else is there that could be worth quite a bit? Well, you guys know what's best in slot as well. So if you have something specifically you want to look up because you think a lot of people are going for it, actually, I want to look up Shirking Energy real quick. I know they did a, a recent nerf to Shirking Energy, but let's take a quick look. Let's see what the value is on the Large Traveler Stone. Large Traveler Stone is not selling for much at all. Remember, this is only for light gear. When you're looking at Shirking Four, it's for all light, medium, and heavy builds, and that's definitely what helps as well. So Shirking Fort's going to be one of the big ones, like we said, and then the uh, the Freedom, and then we showed you all the Great Sword Charms as well. But there's a lot of other ones as well. If you're looking for these huge value items, make sure to just, like I said, type in the specific perk on nwdb.info, New World Database, and you'll be able to find exactly what uh, stone you're going to be looking for or what charm you're going to be specifically looking for when it comes to that perk. So just keep that in mind. So now let's go back and let's take a look at where we can farm, first off, this Greatsword Relentless Freedom Charm. This one specifically, if we see here, it's going to be farmed in Cutlass Keys, Weaver's Fen, Ebon Scale, Shattered Mountain, and Restless Shore from Supply Crates. And if you look at all four pages, it's the same thing across the board. It's all going to be from Supply Crates. So let's take a look at exactly what this means. So you can see here the zone monsters. You can see exactly, uh, you know, Cutlass Keys itself, the map of it. But if you're looking to hunt these down, doing elite chess runs is not always going to be the best, best option for you. You can see it is in Shattered Mountain, so make sure you're getting those supply caches and maybe you'll get lucky. But uh, craft mods are going to be something to hunt down, and that's why people doing those, like I said, elite chest runs in Shattered Mountain in Ebb and Scale Reach are going to be making a ton, a ton of money. You can see here it doesn't say Reekwater. I don't know if that for sure means Reekwater is not an option to actually hunt these down. But uh, from the looks of it, it is just Cutlass Keys, Weaver's Fen, Ebb and Scale Reach, Shattered Mountain, and Restless Shore, according to New World Database. So just keep that in mind. If you are looking to do elite zones or maybe even just do a supply cache run every day, these are going to be the places to be. Cutlass Keys, Weaver's Fen, Ebon Scale Reach, Shattered Mountain, and Restless Shore, like I said. So let's jump over and back to Shirking Fortification because that was the big one. Or actually, I think Freedom might have even been bigger, which is kind of crazy as well. So Squirming Vines, we had up 15K to 25K, I believe. And if we take a look at where it's gathered from, again, this one's going to be a little bit different. You can get this one from the depths and reek water. So this makes me want to try the depths, to be honest, because if this one's gatherable from the depths, every depths run, you could actually make tons of money. So just keep this in mind, guys. I mean, tons of money to be made from the depths and reek water if the Squirming Vines is something that comes to them. So we have Freedom as our next one that I really wanted to take a look at because Freedom is going to be selling for quite a bit, the Shard of Concentrated Iron. It's going to sell for about 25k on Marama, 
18K on Bari. Valhalla is going to be about 19K. Where is this one dropped or where is this one contained in? So you can actually see it's dropped by people mostly. It's not going to be something that you get out of a uh, chest like we saw in the previous. Which one was it? Let's go back just a second to make sure. So yeah, the other one you'd gather from chests. This one, Freedom, is going to be a drop. So that's something that's a much harder to obtain most likely. But you can see the actual mobs and enemies that you can get it from. So if you want to find a nice little ancient spot or a corrupted spot to where you can farm these specific enemies, see if they can drop it for you, definitely go for it. And you can see exactly where they're located on the map as well when you click on them. So very, very cool to use New World Database to your advantage and use this price, market price here on the top right as well. But I wanted to make sure you guys knew, sorry about the long video, but I wanted to make sure you guys knew about Freedom and Shirking Fort and some of these other greatsword perks that are charms that you may have gathered within the last couple of weeks and didn't even know the value of. If you want to make the money now, do so. Sell it now. I think these prices will eventually come down. Right now, it probably will sustain for a little bit longer as, like I said, these are best in slot perks. So they will sustain for a little bit, but this is great money if you are looking to do these. I probably will run some deaths myself to see if I can get those charms. But thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll see you guys all in the next one. If you guys haven't already, by the way, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I think I already said this as well, but I do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash iGraphicGuy. Thanks again. I'll see you all in the next one.